My workshop is a mess. I don't really mind having a messy workshop. It's a place to work. It doesn't need to look great. It's just that everything takes longer when you can't find what you're looking for. And my wife and I just had a son, so I have even less time than normal, which means that if I want to go and get a project done, it is pretty frustrating. Every step of the way, it takes 10 minutes to find something. So I decided to build a tool wall. The problem is that the part of the basement that my wood shop is in isn't framed, so there's nothing to screw into. I didn't really want to frame that whole part of the basement just because that's a lot of work and a lot of expense. I also didn't want to drill into the basement wall because I didn't want to cause any damage. I didn't want to cause any leaks. So I decided on this approach. Basically, you take a 2x4, screw it into the beam at the top of the ceiling, use a level to make sure it's as straight as possible, and then pound a wedge underneath the 2x4 at the bottom. That wedge presses the 2x4 against the wall, and it supports it at the bottom so it can hold weight. The wedge idea comes from Steve Branham of CloseGrain.com. He used it in his workshop, and it seemed like a good idea. For the tool wall itself, I decided to just use a sheet of plywood. There are much cooler, fancier options out there, but I just wanted to get this done, and I think it's going to work well enough if it ends up that I turn it into Swiss cheese because I'm moving my tools around all the time with screwing and unscrewing, then I'll consider doing a slat wall or doing some French cleats. This project was extremely easy. I wish I would have done it a long time ago. During this project, I just kept losing my torpedo level over and over again. So it made a lot of sense to make that the first tool to go up on the wall. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.